Again, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression of Stars Studio Gallery in the backyard with Vanessa, today's guest. And we're going to do some different stuff, starting with using a black canvas and using black paint on top of it to help facilitate everything else. And I'm going to use an OXO omelet turning spatula. And we will be chain pulling some more flowers because we had so much fun and we're still having too much fun pulling chains, making flowers. But I want to start by adding some ribbon dribbles in the foliage area, in the bottom of this. We've shaken all our paints. They all have GAC 800 by Golden in, so it doesn't matter how thick we leave them. They will not crack when they dry, at least not if you follow my recipe. GAC 800 by Golden is a pouring medium. I don't use it straight as the only pouring medium because it's 70 bucks a gallon. Woohoo! So, I'm seeing that the uh, the paint is not necessarily agreeing so thoroughly with that primer, but it doesn't really matter at that point. At this point, I'm going to throw that spatula in the bucket. Available on my Amazon link below. Show more. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a small container that needs to be unclogged and throw a bunch of my green colors right in, and I'm going to fill it right up with everything that I've got handy that's a green. And I might stick a skewer in there to spin them around. But I've never done exactly this, and this is cool. I like doing things I've never done exactly before. And my studio assistant has got my last color ready for me. And now I just have a twisted bunch of colors and we're going to move all of those back out of the way and move our skewers so that the bottles are not going on them and I'm going to find I've got an edge catcher edge catchers are nothing more da -da, than the well-used plastic insert from a value pack of 16 by 20 inch canvases all right I'm not going all the way to the bottom let's see if I move that up and I'm going to just I didn't use any purple and I kind of wanted to. I think I'm going to throw a little purple in there. I've got some dark purple. Not being very, being a little haphazard, we'll, we'll start rolling it one way. Put our edge catcher on the turntable tile. I'm going to hold that across the bottom and let it run down. I don't think I've ever done this on a black canvas. And then I'm going to rock it. Once it gets to the bottom, I'm going to rock it enough. It looks more like leaves than, than grass this time, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to let that be pool, and then I'm going to tap, off, tap it off in the bottom. Also, I can take all this paint on my edge catcher and retrieve it. Put it wherever I want. I think I'm even going to knock what's left off on the edge. It's all usable. I'm going to wipe off my spatula. So if I want to use it again, I can. I am going to grab... Where did that come from? <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to look at this so I can see what's going on. And I'm thinking about using some chain because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. It's so strange having somebody here. I'm going to tip that again because I can. It's not moving far or fast. I could have some highlights in there. I think what I want to do, that's too long of a piece of chain. I'm going to use a small piece of ball chain and I'm going to remove that thing that does not belong. Thank you very much thing. Goodbye. And I'm going to move some of my my foliage shapes and create some other happenings. Now that purple is cool, but it's not not working for me at the bottom there. Now it's time for me to put a loop in one hand. I'm going to lift a little.
I can decorate these afterwards if I want to. Oh, cool, we got dendrites happening on the edges of our... where the black paint is meeting the gold and green. So as long as there's a certain level of paint on my chain, I can continue to pull. I can pull down as well as up and over. But I gotta make sure I get rid of that right now. It's not gonna look right. Try and pay attention to what I just did so I can fix it. We don't have lots of time today because we were messing around with my hair and shopping at Michael's <laughs> and Hobby Lobby and having way too much fun together. So I'm, I'm getting pretty happy with this. And as long as my paint is wet, I'm pretty much hoping that we can get away with what my plan is. And my plan is to put some flowers in this. But I like mixing things up. I like that over there too, but I want a sharper point on it. Those are cool, huh? Vanessa's shy now, suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> Not a shy girl, I want to tell you what. <laughs> Say hi, Vanessa. Hello there. <laughs> We've been having officially too much fun. I always have too much fun in classes, but Vanessa's a special case. <laughs> She's just special in a way. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm gonna throw that chain in the bucket so I don't keep using it. And even though I'm gonna be working up here and I'm down here, I've already done this down here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna firm up this paint a little bit. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal a few things. Make sure that what I've got here looks cohesive. And then I'm going to give it a quick torch. Right after I smooth that thing down that does not belong. I like the darks. I've got the pour paint. Pour paint's out here. I think we're almost done. It is every bit as almost done as I thought it was. You know what? I like a lot of things here. But I want to fix that. All right, I don't know how this is going to work and I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to let, let Vanessa change my bottle of propane. Just screw it on. I was right about it. Yes. All right, so now I'm going to continue while she does that. I love having a studio assistant. I really do. So I'm going to take... I don't want to do this without you watching, though. Okay. Make sure that's tight. Okay. So I'm going to start my, my potential flowers by just adding some colors where I want them in what looks like good places to me. I don't want them too even, but... And then we can always change this. Yep, you got it. Cool. I might not do everything the same. Then again, <laughs> it's hard to say what I'm going to do. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's have a blue one up there. And I've got that dark orange, that light orange one that I need to have. Yes, some darker orange. And it actually comes out. No, whoa, it came out really way too much. Never mind. So I like to add two colors and I like to start with some white because as you pull your flowers down, it makes it a little more contrasty. And I don't know how this is going to go because I'm still learning how to do this all the time. I keep picking up the same chain that's too long. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of chain on the bottom side of that and wind that chain around. And then when I get... 
down to the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to lift it all up. And I'm probably going to do what I did recently, which is to add a spiral. And I am leaving my paint thick for sure. And I might add some dots to these, you never know. Because you like dots. Because I like dots. <laughs> Definitely. And I'm not cleaning my chain out. Because I like the idea of adding the purple to the orange. Now all of these probably will need a little bit, little piece of stem. Lifting it up before you pull it down too far is definitely a good thing to remember to do. And I like to take the fact that there's still paint on there and take advantage of it. And if you can slow yourself down, slow your roll, you can work with the paint that you have on there still and do other things if you're clever, and I wasn't. <laughs> but I don't mind anomalous shapes either. I might be taking risks <laughs> right now. So do I need anything else? I need that right there. don't mind those shapes on the side. I do like to use the paint that's residual on my chain, but it's a little trepidatious. It doesn't keep me, want to, keep me from wanting to experiment. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my green paint and put it in a container, dip my spatula in, give myself something next to each flower so it looks like it has a leaf near its stem. I'm sure there's some official name for that and I'll probably need more of this. So now I'm just going to lead that down. A little more paint. can actually go up the other side as well. Change it up just a little bit. It's cool, we have our torch back. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> I love having a studio assistant. You all, I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill. Duh, obviously. Yes, you do see a bag on my head. That's where my hair color is under there. I'm sure my head is in the way part of the time. When is it not? I'm going to use a little bit more green. This is going to be pretty short now. Other than torching, I want to tell you guys I'd appreciate your thumbs up if you wouldn't mind giving it to me. If you watch more of the videos and watch them longer, it helps me out. I don't seem to be able to put enough green down the first time. I like pulling a few a few little leaves out and it's really easy with this number one spatula. Really easy. I don't want to waste any and I don't have to. Although I think I need, need some more. So those are pretty simple but I don't think I'm going to do anything else to that because I don't think it needs anything else. Other than a stem on this last flower that I just noticed didn't have one. So that's, I know I make things look simple that aren't necessarily simple because I'm clever, but um, I don't think it's that hard if you just follow along. And I'm going to give you guys a look at that. I think that's stunning, honestly. I didn't always used to like my artwork, but I'm pretty happy with it at the moment, I gotta say. And we got a minute 49 seconds left before 17. Oh, I see that place. That, mm, where's my skewer? All right, I saw it. Where is it? <laughs> I'm just gonna make a small adjustment. 
with my skewer. Really, I know I, I really am tempted. I do like that. Now there's no silicone in my artwork and you can see that the bottom of these, the, the foliage area is just overflowing with cells. And there's just enough texture from the chain pulls that were outside of the norm to, uh, oh, do not, okay, brand new tank, important to turn it down. Also important to take my skewer and drag that up. You can do that too. You can drag things right up through. It's a really good idea if you don't wait until after you just torched, which I don't seem capable of doing. So I'd say our first black on black canvas worked out pretty well, and I'm very pleased. And now I'm going to let Vanessa do it, but maybe not on camera, just so she can be Thank you very much. All right, so whatever I didn't tell you guys, under the video you can find the paint pouring recipe. You can find Pinterest, Twitter, and, um, hello, brain cramp. <laughs> Pinterest, Twitter, and what else? There's something else under there. Wow. Anyway, so if you're looking for a Facebook group, look for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, and look for a Facebook uh, Expressionist Art Studio Fans and collectors for fans and collectors. And I'm going to go. i got two minutes left to remember whatever I'm supposed to tell you. And you guys can, I want to make sure you guys can see all that. Those were good colors. The residuals from the, from the chain pulls that I did next to other ones came out really nicely. Um, how far down do I want to go? I can't zoom out anymore, can I? Oh, I can. Look at that. That's cool. All right, I do sell my artwork. I told you I give classes. And uh, if you guys want to do me a big favor and shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you, it helps me out. I have the book there, you can find that. And the OXO omelet turning spatulas and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. Wait, that's them. And uh, basting brushes and canvases and you name it, it's there. So you'll have fun shopping there if nothing else. And if you're looking for a place to shop for goodies for Christmas, my leggings are the bomb and they are available by clicking any link under the video. That'll take you to Teespring. You might have to look around. Um, you can also find them on Expressionist Art Studio, totes and more. So this is Priscilla Batzel and Vanessa. Say goodbye, Vanessa. Bye-bye. Leaving you from Spring Hill, Florida in Expre at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and reminding you that you can find more videos on the end screen and a monthly contest that will, if you donate $10 or more, you will be automatically entered to win whichever prize I'm offering, which this month is a singular painting, but by the time this video airs, it could be anything. So I love you guys. There's over 80,000 of you. Um, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for the wonderful comments. Bye for now. We'll see you soon. Come back tomorrow. Check my community board for tomorrow's post, by the way. Love you guys. Share my videos at will and often. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Priscilla out.